Mute recaps here. Movie name, Myra Breckenridge. Okay, sit back and relax. Myra and Breckenridge flies to Copenhagen to get a gender change operation, becoming the beautiful Myra, returning to America Myra goes to her uncle Buck Lawner's acting school, where she pretends to be her own widow and claims that it was Myra's will that she received half the school or $500,000. When Lawner Dimer she asks that she be given a teaching job there to for herself, Buck reluctantly agrees while launching an investigation into the veracity of Myra's claims. Although she is ostensibly assigned an etiquette class, Myra instead philosophizes about the semiotics of the golden age of Hollywood while also introducing concepts of femdom into the curriculum in debates with Myron, who physically manifests to Myra to discuss. Their plan, it is revealed, that Myra has come to the Academy with the intention of the destruction of the last vestigial traces of traditional manhood in the race, in order to realign the genders thus reducing population, while increasing human happiness and preparing for its next stage, on campus Myra becomes obsessed with a pair of young lovers named Rusty and Marianne, whom she believes embody all the traits of American gender norms, one night, on the pretext of arranging for him to undergo a physical exam, Myra ties Rusty to a table and takes advantage of him with a strap on, the assault causes Rusty to abandon Marianne. Myra uses the pair's breakup to move in on Marianne herself, encouraging her to experiment. With switching things up, Myra's pursuit of Rusty and Marianne is paralleled with the life of Letitia Van Allen, a female casting agent who habitually seduces the young men who come to her for auditions. Letitia and Myra briefly cross paths, when Letitia comes to the school scouting for talent, following her assault of Rusty, Myra sends him to Letitia, who claims Rusty is her own. Lover, Buck continues his investigation, ultimately uncovering evidence that Myra never died and that no death. Certificate exists for him, confronted with the truth Myra admits to the truth and strips before a horrified Buck. Buck's response indicates that Myra did not have all her male parts removed during her gender change. Myra continues her pursuit of Marianne, who turns her down, telling her that she wishes she were a man. The next day, the manifestation of Myra in claiming that Myra has become too ambitious, runs her down in a car. Myra awakens in the hospital from the beginning of the film, where it's indicated he has been admitted for a car accident, not gender reassignment. His nurse is Marianne, looking at his bedside table Myron sees a magazine featuring an article on Raquel Welch. This movie end here. Thanks for watching.